Opening a bank account in Switzerland online has always been a desire of all customers who use our advice on a daily basis, even if this is not always the best solution for all customers. Today, we've decided to fill this gap. We know this will cause a commotion on the internet and among consultants in the sector, but we are used to rewriting the rules. So in this video, we will show you step-by-step step how to open a Swiss bank account as a non-resident in just a few hours. You will only need the following items to complete this task. Identity document, personal data, address, contact information, phone number, email address. But before I go, I must issue the standard disclaimer. The information contained herein does not constitute financial, legal, or tax advice or any other type of recommendation. This information should not be used to make investment or other decisions. We always recommend that you follow the law, declare all of your bank accounts to your country of residence if necessary, and use the acquired information in a legal manner. There is no incitement to any illegal activity. You will not be liable for any loss or moral or material damage. The content of this video is solely for educational and instructional purposes. Let's get down to business. We'll use Flowbank to open your Swiss bank account. It, like SwissQuote, primarily focuses on trading, but also offers a Swiss multi-currency IBAN. Opening an account was usually simple, requiring only a passport scan and proof of address. Their mobile app is also quite good. One thing to keep in mind is that they appear to have issues with dollar deposits. They require approval before making any dollar payments. However, it should be noted that the dollar currency in general and not just Swiss banks is a risky currency for banks outside the United States to work with due to the penalties involved in any case of money laundering, violation of sanctions, and so on. Every dollar transaction you make anywhere in the world is processed by the U.S. Federal Reserve. A dollar transfer from France to Brazil is routed through a U.S. bank in the United States. If your transaction is flagged for any reason, the Fed will request that your bank complete hundreds of documents about you, the transaction, and so on. This incurs significant costs for the bank in terms of labor and time, and in many cases, it will simply close your account rather than deal with it because you are an unprofitable customer. Don't be a wasteful customer. Do not use dollars with these institutions. They also do not yet have any cards available. Let us now conduct a brief analysis of the bank to determine its dependability. Flowbank is a new Swiss digital financial service that will be available to the public at the end of 2020. They intend to operate as both a bank and a full-service broker. As a result, you can keep both your money and your stock in the same place. Flowbank is a Swiss bank with an official license. This license is fantastic because it provides us with Swiss bank protection up to 100,000 Swiss francs. It is also worth noting that they are the first bank to be licensed since 2009. In Geneva, they already employ 90 people. CoinShares acquired a 9% stake in Flowbank in 2021. They then acquired a second 20% stake in the company in 2022. This investment provided a significant boost to Flowbank's growth. Flowbank wants to make online banking and trading more convenient and accessible. They provide a multi-currency bank account as well as a broker account. Their vision is to be truly simple, truly banking, and truly Swiss. I'm not sure what that means, but it's intriguing. Flowbank provides customer support 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It's worth noting that this customer service is based in Switzerland. I've contacted their customer.